Hey guys, Doug here, Trigger King, uh, here with another tech video for you guys. And uh, today we're going to talk about the, the mod clods. So this truck here, this is actually the uh, the guts of the Bigfoot Cruiser that I showed off in the uh, the body video. And um, this is a, an absolute chaos RC chassis. A lot of our guys run that. We've got uh, a couple of our guys help develop it, and uh, we sell them in-house. So plug for them. Uh, look them up, Absolute Chaos RC on Facebook. Anyway, so getting into this, this is uh, actually a sport mod truck, but the only difference between it and a pro mod are the motors are going to be hotter in the uh, pro mod trucks. Otherwise, it's set up pretty much identical. So again, a Chaos chassis, uh, battery on this thing, it's mounted low. Um, the pro, well really the pro mod or sport mod doesn't matter. If you get the battery lower, that's always going to be better. You want the, late, the weight lower. This truck actually, so it's got twin 17 turn motors, which is what kind of the rule in our sport mod. How this is wired, it's off a single Traxxas XL5 ESC. This is the ESC that comes out of like a stampede or something like that. Um, you, can, you can get them really cheap. He's got the, uh, the motor wires, uh, two wires coming off each actually. And um, he's got those wired to the uh, Reedy Radon 30,000 RPM, which is a 17 turn. So that's kind of the power, basically, outside of the full chassis kit. The front and rear, how you have to mount them up um, with the four links. Uh, Sutton Motorsports actually makes this mount here. It's Delrin. It's an adjustable four link mount. You run it over the, uh, you run it over the chassis. The gear case is there, front and the rear. And it, uh, it allows for custom customization, basically, and they're super strong, so you can change your, um, your link angles. Uh, one of the other big things on, on this truck here, it has adjustable uh, motor mounts. So what that allows, it's kind of tough to get in here to show you, but basically what it is, uh, ThunderTech Racing makes these, but I know uh, Sutton Motorsports is working on some, and you can get them from some others. One of the things that the, uh, a stock clod, one of the problems is a stock clod does not have very much room in the gear case. And so, especially in our sport mod class, when the clod trucks are running against the axial stuff, one of the big disadvantages that they had had when we started racing was the SMT tens. You've got a ton of gearing options because there's just a lot of room in the transmission. Um, and I guess clod guys have been having this problem forever. So you can put in adjustable uh, motor mounts, which allow for bigger pinions. I think this one has 16s in it, and uh, Sutton Motorsports is working on some even bigger ones to allow like 19 tooth pinions. And um, that really negates a lot of the advantage the SMT tens have is you can gear these things up because especially in a spec class like uh, the our sport mod, which is probably our most competitive class, it's a war on gearing pretty much. Everyone is trying to gear their truck up as much as they can to get more speed out of it. And um, you know later this week I'm going to talk in an SMT ten video the problems of that when you start blowing ESCs. But that's racing, man. <laughs> that's any kind of racing. If you want to win, you got to gear high. So anyways, uh, one of the other thing. Other things with these trucks, uh, mod clod, is you might have seen the acronym BTA steering. Well, that just means behind the axle, and uh, it's a it's a setup. You could run it forward if you wanted, but the reason everyone uses BTA is it's safer that way. I mean, you guys have seen in a lot of the videos, you know, of us of some of the crazy abuse these things take. Well, the gear case is a heck of a lot tougher than your steering arm, and the steering arm goes right down to the servo, and many of us are running nice ESC or nice uh, servos on these things so they can turn the big wheels, and it, it protects your servo. So behind the axle steering, that's, that's what it means, BTA. This truck actually has, uh, they're painted black, but it has aluminum tubes, and a lot of the guys are going to aluminum tubes just because it's, it's so hard to keep the plastic ones intact with the stuff that we do. And even if you have quick change tubes, it's still kind of a pain in the butt to change these out. It's not like on an axial truck. That's a, that's the other advantage, you know, kind of with the axial trucks. They're typically, they're easier to get in and work on in, in a jam. Like I know if I break a knuckle or something, I can do that quick. Clouds are a little bit longer, so it makes more sense to have something aluminum like this to where really the only weak point on this anymore is either the knuckle, which you can swap those out really quick, or the actual main gear case. And it's really rare that you're gonna have a main gear case failure. Typically, if you've done that, it means you're in such a, you know, you've hit something so hard, there's probably other stuff busted. So, um, you know, talking a minute here on these sway bars, the sway bars, you know, for you guys that don't know, and I know that there are some of you that don't, the sway bar, it keeps the chassis level when you're cornering. If you don't have sway bars on your truck, it's going to be roly-poly basically is what it is. You're going to have a ton of roll. Um, these sway bars right here on the Chaos, uh, these were designed so you got a lot of flexibility. You can change them depending on the angle of your suspension you want. But they're typically you want them around horizontal when the truck is resting. So, And it's the same way with your links. 
that's kind of always the rule on a monster truck. You want your links parallel with the ground. That typically means that you've got good suspension uh, angle. Shocks on this truck, these are the P Proline Power Strokes. A lot of our guys are using Proline shocks. Um, Proline, typically, they, they make really nice shock absorbers. Again, you've got all kinds of different holes on here and that's uh, you know for mounting, and that's gonna be almost any aftermarket chassis worth their salt is gonna have a ton of these because there are so many variables when you're talking about these monster truck suspensions. Different shocks have different lengths, which means you need different holes. Um, you might want different, uh, you know, different angles at the bottom here. If you can see this, these link bars here, um, they actually, you can change the angle of the shock at the bottom. So again, super customizable. And normally on your truck, um, you're going to have to play around with it to get what you like. There's really no set rule on these things. And uh, you need to tinker around on whatever kind of truck, whatever kind of chassis you have to get what you want. So, all right, guys. And one last thing here uh, before we end this. Um, one of kind of the features on the Chaos chassis here, you see these body mounts. These are just regular Duratrack body posts, but um, some of the chassis have the, the uh, horizontal mounts where you mount the body through the side. This is just a lot easier and a lot more durable um, of a setup. And uh, you can see here, these are the brace bars and actually then the, uh, you got the actual, just the uh, body mounts up there. So, well, hopefully that uh, answers some questions you guys might have on a mod cloud again. There are different setups, but this, even though with this, this is a Chaos chassis, most of the trucks run fairly similar setups, even if chassis or other little things are different. So uh, hopefully that helps, and we'll see you next time.